I try to tell them to turn their heads so I can work on them better, but they never seem to listen to me. This is what I call an abbot bear. This is an actual position that bears will sit in. Uh, you can't be stressed out hanging around this guy for too long. It specialize in life-size wildlife native to North America. Most of these bears look lifelike enough that real bears actually like them. Real bears actually will walk up to them uh, very slowly and sniff and sniff. Their sight isn't all that great, but um, they come up to them and sniff them and they'll smack them or touch them until they figure out that, hey, this guy isn't moving. This stone comes from near Yosemite National Park in California, and it's a volcanic glass that erupted underwater on the south end of Mono Lake. It's a very rare stone, very unique stone. It is pure volcanic glass, has some, uh, the pink stuff in it is rhyolite, which is a type of granite. It's from this rock being superheated. I handpick every one of these stones. I look at the color of them, the texture, the rough shape of the stone. Every stone is shaped differently. So it already has its own personality to start with. And so I look at them, stare at them, and uh, pick the stones that I want brought back to me here to work with. This is a life-size grizzly bear I'm working on here. He's pretty close to being done. He's out of the same expanded obsidian lava from California. He is full life-size. Uh, at this point, he weighs about 3,500 pounds. Uh, half the weight that the rock started out as uh, when I began. Right now he's covered with a lot of dust and everything so he looks looks a little rough but uh, he needs a face and that's what I'm working on right now. This stone although it's very porous uh, it will soak up water just like a sponge and they'll change colors when they get wet. In the winter time when it freezes uh, it won't crack. There are so many pores in the stone that there's no pressure build up. I also work with Colorado marble and uh, a stone from Virginia called black pearl. I don't do any animals that are uh, aggressive looking. Uh, that's not the image or the uh, spirit that I want to convey to everybody who sees them. When I'm carving them, uh, obviously I don't go for the mean look. I try to give him a more gentle character. Uh, his mouth isn't opening. He's, he's not growling. Uh, he's got his head turned a little bit. Um, it's just a friendly bear. In order to deliver a piece like this, I have my own crane. Uh, can lift up to about two tons or so. This guy here probably weighs about uh, 12, 1500 pounds. I slide nylon straps, two nylon straps underneath him, pick him up with the crane, set him on the trailer, reverse the process when I get to the home. Uh, back right up to where he needs to go and lower him down. And this particular bear is a grizzly, so he's got more of the uh, dipped nose and the, the more dished out face, but uh, not a mean looking grizzly. And everyone varies, uh, the stone color will be different, uh, the, the way the striations go through the face. Um, also the, the size I make the nose will dictate whether it's a male or a female and uh, all in all how aggressive he looks. And I am primarily a fan of wildlife before and an artist. So I'm basically creating my own pets when I carve these things. Carve them the way I would like to see them in my home.